guys, what's up? It's me, Jules, here at WorldCoach.com, joined by Adam Cleary, and we have just been to the WWE live show here in the Newcastle Metro Radio Arena. Was it a good night? Yes, it was, but let's break it down because this is what went down. down. That's what we can call it, I'm sure. Yeah. yeah, basically, in short, the New Day are still house show gold. What a surprise! They're, they're all with absolutely everybody, still, yeah. kids love them, adults want to be them. Xavier Woods does things on ropes I didn't know were possible. Disappointment number one though, no pancakes, but we will let them <laughs> off because it was a fantastic match because they were just being absolutely silly. The Bludgeon Brothers waited outside for them for a long, long time because it was a triple threat tag between them, the Usos, the Bludgeon Brothers. It was a great match and the Bludgeon Brothers won. Quite surprised we got the NXT title match up next, which was, yeah, they gave us a big title thing to introduce mm. Alistair Black. Not a lot of people, I suspect, in the arena actually knew who he was. No. Kid, Nobody really cared. Surprisingly, Alistair Black's uh, penchant for being dark and brooding does not shift t-shirts with the younger crowd. Wait until they get the Linkin Park Hybrid Theory album and then they'll be all over it. It was a great match, unfortunately, yeah. no one gave a They toss. kind of won him over, though, I think, in the end. Really? Yeah. I've got all my notes. Rusev uh, Day! Wait, Apparently, it's Rusev Day still. Yeah, yeah, still. So before, um, before so that Aiden English will get kicked off of the entire angle. He got one good hurrah because Rusev Day was in full effect. Was he team when he went up against? Who did he go up against? Jeff Hardy, US Jeff style. Hardy. Oh yeah, US style match, that was it. That was and a long time ago now. Oh, you know what though, it was fantastic to see a childhood icon of mine wrestle and he was everything I wanted him to be. Do you know why? Because he didn't miss the whisper in the wind. Yeah, that was nice. It was kind of weird though, the Rusev Day chance start before the actual match goes on <laughs> and they're still presenting him as a heel, even in front of groups of children wearing Rusev Day t-shirts because they have Absolutely zero heart. The match was good though. Oh, I really I enjoyed thought. that match. Fantastic match. And then it was. Uh, it was the that? UK lads after that. Ah, now this might have been a bit of contention for this because again, there's not been much push by the WWE to get the UK division going. Therefore, it was a case of people going, yay, I know that one person. Joseph Connors and Tyler Bate. Yay! And to be fair though, they put on an excellent match. It was technically sound. It's, it's one of those like they kind of feel wasted, like all the UK guys feel wasted, but to get to go in front of 10,000. 10,000 people crowds every couple of nights. You can't begrudge them, really. Like, they're doing, they're living their dream, I guess. Yes. And it's just, it's a shame because they could be doing a little bit more with them, but who, who can blame them? Tyler Bates won in the end, and it was absolutely fantastic to see his thighs. Okay, what do you oh, have Simon. Simon. Uh, we only got Daniel Bryan versus The Miz. Wow. Which, the, yeah. the, the feud of the century on the house <laughs> show. And do you know what? Uh, though? I really enjoyed it. It was a fantastic match. They took their time. They let it grow. It's been bubbling over for many, many months. And to see them actually execute it in this way was pretty tip top. If they're not convinced right now that Daniel Bryan is the greatest commodity they have, like the crowd was good all oh, night. But they went but for Daniel Bryan, every single person, young and old alike, absolutely lost their minds. If they don't realise that the, he's the best thing they've got right now, yeah. they need their heads examined. And if they don't realise the Miz is the second best thing they've got right now, they also need their heads examined. And you know what, I bought into that thinking that the Miz was going to win, but unfortunately, like I said, unfortunately, Daniel Bryan did come out on top, so that was a good match there. What was it after that? It was the end of all, we were in the, the toilet. Best, best toilet. The, the facilities at the Metro Arena are fantastic. 10 Can't out of 10. 10 out of 5 10. star Dave And Melter. speaking of 10 out of 10, when we came back, it was <laughs> Ty Dillinger versus Big that. Sass himself, Big Cass, and Big Big Cass, Steve I came Morgan. all this way and I missed the Ty Dillinger match because I was in the toilet. What a shame. Big Cass won. Brilliant. What do you sure. think of the women's match? Sure. The eight man. Yeah, it's still a shame. They can put eight women on this show, eight incredibly talented women, and still give them a combined total of six minutes uh, in a tag match. It always infuriates me when you see their entrances Ooh. cut short all the time. Yeah. Uh, but still, they all got their moves in. There was a lovely spot where all four uh, the good guys, that was uh, Naomi, Charlotte, Becky Lynch, Lynch and, and, Asuka. and Asuka, they all did a running sort of like slide out of the ring and they all nice. sat there and they did a little pose. That was pretty cool. Was I against, enjoyed that. It was against Lana, uh, Carmella, and what's left of Absolution. It was nice. Oh, yeah. If you yeah. Looking at my phone, I've asked Betty Lynch if she wants a pint after. I'm just taking to make sure she hasn't messed us back yet. Wouldn't buy a t shirt though, wouldn't support his, uh, his icons. Anyway, what was the final match? The main oh, event. That's right, it was. That was actually a bit of a swim. It, it was Shinsuke yeah. Nakamura versus AJ Styles. But we didn't think they would ever put the belt on Nakamura. <laughs> do it. Even try. In Newcastle. No, no, he said he was going to do this whole thing. It's not true. AJ Styles retained, but they did mix it up a little bit by having a six man tag. Basically, a four man Play off. Because, because, yeah, it was dead, very Teddy Long because the bar came down and broke up the match. Then the club came down, and then we have the club versus the what did you What did you call it? Shinsuke... Shins... No, it's Shinsuke, Shinsuke Nakamura, Nakamura Bar! One million pounds, WWE. That's what that will cost you. Finders B. Yeah, the match really, was good. Really match good match. Fine. And it won, and it ended with uh, AJ Styles and Hobo Joe coming in for a little bit there. Yes. Oh, oh, oh. Did he just oh, run the... Yeah. Oh, now his glasses are fucked. 
Anyway. Sorry, that's really important. That. Anyway, that was, the w that was the WWE live show. It was a oh, good hands here. fun. I really, really enjoyed it. And you know what? It was everything a house show should be yeah. at the end of the day. We had a nice time. It was fun. Silly. Simon, what did you think? It was alright. Unless it wasn't. wasn't. And that's okay. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So, as always, I've been Jules. This has been Adam Clue. We've been from WhatCulture.com. Subscribe below. Do all the usual things in the comments. I'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye. So, thanks for watching. Please feel free to click on any of these things around my head or something terrible might happen to the dog. Too sweet me, bro. Traitor. <laughs> Traitor. <laughs>